Hello, potential statisticians and data scientists. You're very welcome to this virtual open day talk. My name is Rafael. I'm a lecturer in the Department of Maths and Stats here in Manute University. And over the next few minutes, I'll talk a bit about our statistics and data science programs. Here in Manute, we have a newly devised program in data science. It's our nominated entry BSc in data science with the first cohort having started September last year. We also have updated our omnibus science program, where data science is now an option for students in first year, and also revamped our BSc and BA double honors statistics programs. But before I talk about these programs in a bit more detail, I'd like to discuss a bit on why you should choose Minute for your degree in statistics or data science. Here we have outlined but a few reasons on why people with skills in statistics and data science are highly sought after by both the academia and the industry. Weather forecasting. Do you have a smartphone or have you ever checked the weather forecast for the weekend? There is statistics and data science behind this. Using weather data from the past, it is possible to use specific techniques that allow us to predict what the weather will be like tomorrow or next week, for example. Scientific research. Scientific hypotheses can be translated into statistical hypotheses. And with the collection of appropriate data, these can be tested formally. By combining applied sciences such as physics, chemistry, biology, ecology, with the correct statistical procedures, we can advance science as a whole. Insurance market. Have you ever wondered why your car insurance premium is so expensive? In our statistics and data science programs, you will learn how to implement models, such as the ones insurers and banks implement in order to decide how much your premium will be or whether or not somebody is eligible for a loan. Stock market. We can use statistical techniques to predict how much a particular stock will be in the future and then aid in decision making, whether you want to sell that stock or buy more. Medicine. When is the last time you took a pill for a headache? Every time you see a drug behind the counter in the pharmacy, believe me, there is data from many medical trials that have been extensively analyzed using different statistical procedures to make sure that that drug will treat the disease it is meant to treat. Quality control. How to make sure processes are operating as expected in any type of industry? A data scientist can definitely help. In essence, I do believe statisticians and data scientists, they have some sort of superpower. If you use the techniques we will teach you here in Manute University appropriately, you too will be able to predict the future. But what is statistics? What is data science? Well, data is everywhere and it comes in many different formats. Numbers, words, images, videos, sounds, how to make sense of all this seemingly unorganized data and answer important questions, ultimately leading to improving human knowledge. The great philosopher Plato once said, knowledge reflects the systematic and even organic nature of the universe. Well, of course, knowledge has been distinctly the human project. It's a fulfillment of our nature. So how do we transform data into knowledge? By using different techniques, we're able to manipulate the data so that it can be used by, for example, statistical software. We also produce visualizations that will help us understand what the data is telling us. Humans are visual creatures. And as we know, a picture is worth a thousand words. And we can use models to try and understand the underlying processes that are generating all of the data we observe. Statistics and data science allow us to transform data into knowledge. But what skills are needed then? We must understand, firstly, the statistical techniques and how to use them. Also, we need to know how to obtain or access or manipulate the data and implement the statistical techniques on computers, hence why computer science is so important. Finally, we must understand the mathematical basis upon which statistical techniques are developed. By studying programming, we're able to translate the mathematical operations into a language a computer can read and execute. Here in Minute, it's our goal to teach our statistics and data science students how to communicate their results correctly and effectively. This renders a completely interdisciplinary training. Statistics plus one, you say? In Minute, statistics can be combined with many other subjects, either through arts or science. I'll give you some details over the next few minutes. So what are the career opportunities for somebody with a degree in statistics or data science? So the career prospects, they're very widespread over different areas. You could work for the government, 
for a finance company in the academia involved in scientific research. You could work in stock market trading. You could become a teacher, a lecturer, work for a bank or in the pharmaceutical industry. You could work for a tech giant such as Google, Amazon or Facebook. Do you like sports? There's a high demand for data scientists working with sports data to either predict the outcome of matches or help devise training plans or determine the value of players. Are you interested in environmental science? Statisticians are most welcome to help understand the effects of chemicals or pollution in the environment or to determine what's happening to biodiversity across the globe. In the end, you can work for any company or institution that collects data. And data is, in fact, everywhere. Here, we're looking only at social media platforms as an example. So the sheer amount of data that is created every minute is almost unbelievable. Look at Twitter, for example. A third of a million tweets every minute. For an e-commerce company, this is highly valuable. So data scientists, they can mine customer satisfaction, for example, by looking at their Twitter data. Look at WhatsApp now. More than 29 million messages in 1 million photos. Facebook, a quarter of a million of photos uploaded. YouTube, 400 hours of videos uploaded and 700,000 hours of video content watched. And one of my favorites, more than 1 million of swipes on Tinder but only 18,000 matches. So the odds are a bit low, but persist and you get there. And this is only in one minute. Can you imagine how important statistical and data science skills are when processing this type of information? So now it's time to talk a bit about the programs here at Manute University. Starting with our denominated entry, BSc Data Science. In first year, You'll do data science, computer science, mathematics, and another subject of your choice. Then in second year, you'll drop that extra subject and proceed with stats, computer science, and maths. Finally, in years three and four, uh, you carry on with statistics and computer science, but also specialist data science modules. Those are carefully put together to ensure you're a well-trained data scientist at the end of your program. And that includes industry guest lectures and also a capstone course on year four. You can also do a degree in data science through the Omnibus Science Program. Now you can take data science as a subject option in first year. Even if you don't want to do a program in statistics or data science, the introductory data science modules we have put together for students in first year, they're available for every scientist. You will learn the basics on how to manipulate, visualize, and communicate your findings. If you're interested in proceeding to a degree in data science, you can continue by taking statistics in year two. It's important to say that this is a unique feature of science degrees in Ireland. You have the option to take the data science subject in year one if you're in the Omnibus Science Program. A science graduate with knowledge in data manipulation, data visualization, and reporting of findings will definitely have a more interdisciplinary background. This improves employability either in the academia or industry. Now introducing our double honors, BSc Statistics Program. You'll start in first year by taking data science, maths, and two other subjects of your choice. Then you will drop one of those two extra subjects and carry on with stats, maths, and the subject you haven't dropped. Finally, you'll take statistics and that other subject in years three and four to complete your double honors program. Some interesting combinations could be statistics and biology, statistics and applied mathematics, statistics and computer science. I myself am trained in stats and biology, and this has helped me a lot when trying to understand applied biological problems and propose statistical solutions to analyze the data. And finally, introducing your double honors Bachelor of Arts statistics program. You will start in first year by taking stats, math studies, and two other subjects of your choice. Then in years two and three, you will take stats and another subject of your choice. Some interesting combinations could then be stats in geography, stats in business, or stats in economics. In meteorology, for example, the skill set of a graduate with a background in statistics and geography would definitely be highly sought after. I'd like to thank you very much for your time, and I hope to see you in Manute in the next academic year. If you have any questions, please send me an email, and I'll be happy to answer any queries you might have. Bye-bye.